CAPTCHA stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart, and that's exactly what it is. The program can tell the difference between automated and human users. WordPress CAPTCHA keeps hackers and spam bots away, especially when it comes to brute force attacks. This is when bots are used to try different credentials in a login form until they can figure out the username and password to get into the site. The quickest and easiest way to install CAPTCHA on your WordPress website is by using a plugin. There are a lot to choose from, like reCAPTCHA by Best Web Soft, an advanced no CAPTCHA and invisible CAPTCHA, which we're gonna use for our walkthrough today. When choosing a WordPress CAPTCHA plugin, here's what to look for. Google reCAPTCHA is the most user-friendly option, so make sure this type of CAPTCHA is provided. The ability to add CAPTCHA to several places on your site in addition to the login page. Integrations with other tools you use, like a blog comment section or contact forms. P.S. If you're using Divi, reCAPTCHA is already included in some of our modules. Find out more in our documentation about spam protection providers. Here's how to get CAPTCHA on your site. From the WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, search for advanced no CAPTCHA and install and activate the first option. Now under settings, press on advanced no CAPTCHA and invisible CAPTCHA. Under the Google keys header, press the Google link, which will bring you to this page where we will register a new site. We're gonna select reCAPTCHA version two and we'll select the I'm not a robot checkbox. Now let's give this a label, add our domain, and accept the terms of service. Now press submit. As you can see, this will generate two CAPTCHA keys. Now we need to copy these and paste them into the appropriate boxes on the plugin settings page in WordPress. Now under enabled forms, we could choose where we want our CAPTCHA to show up. I'll choose login form. There's even more we can tweak here, like customizing the error message, choosing a light or dark theme, hiding the CAPTCHA for logged in users, and so on. But for now, we're just gonna save our changes. So we're back to the login page. I have now successfully logged out, and the CAPTCHA is now required in order to log in. There we go. Simple as that. Now your site has an extra layer of security. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.